Shall we begin? Ah, there we go. I decided to be quiet in case that was the uh, first time anyone's ever saw on or seen uh, the intro. Ah, here we are. Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Or some people call it Super Danganronpa 2. Howdy do, and welcome to Super Danganronpa 2. I, it's been a minute for me, because what I did with the first game, Trigger Happy Havoc, is I tended to record all of the episodes first, and then I'm now editing them as I'm putting them up. So now here we are with the second game, which we are finally playing too. I said we were going to after the first game's conclusion. We had to play this game. Um, the thing about it though is it's probably going to be the same as the uh, the first game when it comes to like the, the quote unquote rules. Um, especially because I didn't really talk about it, but behind the scenes there were some issues with things like copyright and whatever with the first game. So we'll see how that goes with this one. But yes, I am I'm excited to play this one. Uh, definitely. I have to check the volume and stuff like that. Uh, I should probably check it now. The, there, oh, okay, that's Monokuma just came and just kidnapped somebody, which he was alive at the end of the last game. It, who knows? We're gonna jump into it. Um, why does it always go to load game? I don't remember ever playing this. There shouldn't be anything there. Um, with that said, we're gonna start a new game. From the beginning, I'd like to believe from from the beginning. Is there any other? Ooh, locked, locked content and extras. Wait, hold on. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. Uh, we are going to probably play in English, like the first game, just because the parts that are voice acted, then the characters can voice for me. Um, another thing that happened in the first game was my voice kind of started going out from how much reading I was doing, and I was accidentally, uh, kind of accidentally doing impressions for characters. I'm going to try not to do that this time, so my voice can last longer. We're also just going to go on the kind difficulty. It's like right in the middle. That way things aren't too hard, and like the episodes are too long because I'm, you know, just dumb. But it's also not too easy because I feel like that would just not be entertaining to watch at all either. But yeah, let's just jump into hey. the, uh... Oh, oh, hello. I didn't know we were just going to start like that from the jump. <laughs> can you hear me? I, I can hear you. I can hear, I can hear a lot of things, actually. Hold on. I do, like, by the way, it's hot. So if you hear my fan, I'll try in editing to get my fan, if it's in the background, not in the background, but it's hot. And to be able to see me, I have to turn on the lights, too, so it just makes it hotter. It's, we're in August at this point now. I even have an A shirt on at this point. I gave up trying to put on, like, nicer shirts and stuff for recording. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's see. Kind of like this. I don't have to, I don't have to voice, oh, that's not good. What are you going, Turbo? Are you okay? I... That, that is a question for the... Is anyone okay, really, right now in 2020? Has anyone ever really been okay? Or have they just been getting by? And sometimes getting by is happy, but other times, not so much. You seem pretty out of it. You know what? Funny enough, I actually am. That actually relates to me, because I, in my sleeping pattern, has been all over the place. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same, too. Oh, we're a bunch of insomniacs. Who are you? Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Did we? Hey, 
Are you listening? I oh I'm 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 replying to everything. You can't hear me, and that's mostly because most people can't hear me when I speak. It's like this thing like they ignore when I'm speaking. It's fine. It, I'm I'm used to it. But yeah, I'm listening. Dot dot dot. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. Well, if there's anything from the ending of the first game, like I imagine if you're watching this, you 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 know about the first game, and that won't be spoilers. Spoiler alert, though. Uh, at the end of the first game, we tried to leave the academy and just cut off right there. So here we are here. I, I that's not anyone from the first game, unless it is, and they just look different. I begin to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. A helicopter crash. It's like Left 4 Dead 2, or Left 4 Dead 1, was it? Where the pilot turned out to be a zombie. That's right, I... I... I what? Pro? C1, C2, C3? Is this like, uh, oh no, is this Excel spreadsheets? I'm not good at... Oh, that's not, that's not spreadsheets at all. That's, that's the Matrix. Oh, okay. Dang it, Rapa 2, goodbye to spare. Uh, game start? Yes, uh, The Path of Neo, I believe. Oh no, it's just Game Boy! It's Game Boy, like, Advance, SP, gotcha. Reminds me of, like, Mega Man Battle Network. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Ah. And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Kind of, like when, you, when you're selfless and stuff, that can tend to happen, right? Like charities and whatnot, or when an event happens that you help and it's successful and it, it benefits. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Ah, there's that devastatingly tall building despite having five floors I see just five floors right there that's that's more than five floors Hope's Peak Academy the place was so much more than a school to me kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team and ever since I was a kid I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy can't you only be a kid to attend the place whoa 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 that was a lot larger of a zoom out. We just got to see like more of the city, which maybe isn't important, but I felt like, yeah, that was kind of neat. Uh, Hope Speak Academy is a government funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits the top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and in doing so shape the future. Whenever Hope Speak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope Speak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Well, I'm a college student, so I can't... I, that's it for us. All right, wrap it up. Roll credits. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Complaining. I complain a lot. I'm a very good complainer. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen... The students of Hope Speak Academy are called Ultimates, the ultimate life form, Shadow the Hedgehog. Probably doesn't attend the school. Uh, but even though I'm finally going to Hope Speak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm Gamerson. Well, you meant you. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. They can be, yeah. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. Mm-hmm. My name is Hajime Hinata. Hajime Hinata. Hyuga. It's the three H's. There we go. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. 
That's not a bad reason. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. That's also not bad reasons. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. Dreams are good. Dreams you s s sleep eight hours, you know? Okay. That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone I can be proud of. Excuse I me? Wanted to hey, uh, yo. Are you are you all together? Game? Tell me that's on purpose. Tell me that's not my, <laughs> my game freaking out. For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always, 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 oh, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. Until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hope I might have admired the talent individual, talent individuality, but I have finally forever tried my best. Finally came, came true. Oh, that's definitely part of the game. Huh? I'm about to get jump scared. What is this? Jump scare. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. It's a door. It's the construct. There, yeah, that's what it is. There's a door. Yeah, there is a door. Hope's Peak Academy did have like that fourth floor data center and stuff. This is probably something like that, huh? Still. Still. I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What? Need. Need. No. I should hurry. Yeah. Maybe it's gonna be- a so we're, uh, we're on the fourth floor then, probably. Ah, oh, wait a second. Oh, hello. Isn't it always nice when you're the last one to a place, so when you enter, everyone in the room can look at you entering? It's like those classes. Like, on, on, on campus, there was a classroom I had where the door was basically the front of the classroom. So especially if you were late, everybody could just see you come in and just stare at you until you took your seat. Huh? Sorry. Who goes there? Uh, me. The Alpha and the Omega. Uh. Um, are you feeling alright? You look quite pale. Uh, to be fair, that just could be an artistic coloring thing. It's fine. Um. Hey, could you be? You're also a freshman at this school, right? Right. Uh, then you're all. See for yourself. We're all freshmen too. Okay. These guys. Everyone? Yes, everyone on the planet is a freshman at Hope Speak Academy. That's the secret that no one will let you say. The freshmen who were accepted into Hope Speak Academy. The ultimates. Yep. I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Mm hmm. Gathered? Hey. Why don't you just come inside for now? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, uh, uh, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I mean, why not? It. I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. Are they, though? That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Yeah, there you go. Say it. Say it with your chest. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool, I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. You know, okay, that's a start. Anyway, what just happened earlier? The fourth floor. Okay, so the data center. Like a data center classroom. There were classrooms on that floor, I think. Uh, I, I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me, as if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. It's a bl- You ever been driving really tired? Like, you shouldn't be. Don't drive when tired. But have you ever been driving, and one moment, you're in traffic, the next moment, you're in your driveway, and you're just like, we're here. Didn't hit nobody, thank goodness. Don't drive I tired. Uh, it's like that. Something's weird. Is it- Um, excuse me? What? What is it? I know who the- Oh, no way. Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there, like, an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening right now? Hm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear. Well, since you're the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Uh, is this everyone? 
how do you know there are only 16 desks in this classroom and this guy is the 16th student? Oh, so we're already at that point of the plot. Gotcha. We're, we're the 16th student. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes? Oh, no. Oh, yes? Oh, no. Oh, yo. Yes, no. Ness. Gotcha. Such ignorance. That same voice line and everything. Oh, yeah. It is them, isn't it? It's totally them. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. And just what are we, we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Eh? We looked around at each other. A surprise looked appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. Oh, uh oh. I see. So before you realize it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very sure. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? Ah. Oh, I don't know if I miss this. What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean, stupid looking? Yeah, you're just gonna so roll past that? Words, the moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and you don't know why. <laughs> that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Huh? That, that dizziness wasn't just me? Oh no, here we go. Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. <laughs> Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? Huh? Hmm? So in other Meaning, words, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Ha, huh, I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. I mean, there, I don't see any things on the windows. Can you just like... Yeah, there's chairs break the window or open the door unless that's been tried what do you mean we can't leave Impossible. S seriously did they, they oh i watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open but uh-oh huh? it won't open i can't open it huh? let someone stronger try maybe i don't know why a little while after i got here i tried to leave to go oh did they really oh no I, that's a dilemma right there but that door wouldn't budge at all. Hey, 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 hey what's going on? Sheesh. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? What do you mean you couldn't get an open? Why? That's not possible. She's right, it's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. That's not good. Locked inside? So hold on, if you tried to open it before, as soon as I opened the door, you should have been bolting out. What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt, as though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling inside of my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? Oh, yeah, it's it's all coming back. Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope Speak Academy? Didn't we just say that there isn't an entrance exam? However... But according to Hopesick Academy, no such entrance exams exist. Yeah, thank you. But... They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. Oh, well, you got me there. That's wrong! Ah, you're wrong. This is not an entrance exam. Who what? said that? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Oh, jeez. Why are you gonna make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. You won't re dispute the blunt remark about, uh, I, I, what's the story here, y'all? Hold on. Wh I mean, if I just keep playing, we'll learn the story, but I, I feel like this is a, this is, this means something. This, this moment, this, this, uh, this eye contact, as we make eye contact. Oh, that was a mistake. It's just, it's just getting flash flooded with memories from the first game now. Huh? That was a mistake. No, oh, whose is it? Um, it's actually mine. Who's... Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps. Sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Uh-oh. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin! Oh, no. Oh, the music's a lot more happier. Hold on.
Well, that's definitely not Monokuma. What is that? That that's Monokuma's sister, Mono Panda. Which is a Tekken joke. I don't know if anybody played Tekken the series at all, but you can actually just play as a whole entire bear called Kuma. And you can also play as another bear called Panda. So that's Mono Panda. That's that's how this works. I don't make the rules, I'm just the messenger. If you don't like it, it's not my fault. I just deliver the stuff. You can take it up with the higher ups. I'm sorry. That that's your experience with it, but it's it's No, those are rabbit ears. Panda mono panda rat that no, it's just too long. It's 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 one word like Madonna, but it's still too long. We have, we have to shorten it. NPR, NPR. Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. It 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 does. That's right. That's how it all begins, I'm doesn't it? Visibly soft stuffed animal. That's not good. Magical miracle girl Usami. Usami. A -A Usami. Magical mirror mono panda Usami with rabbit ears. And angel, they have angel wings. I don't know any bears that really have angel wings or rabbits, so they are a they're a panda. With, they're 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 a mishmash, uh, a amalgamation. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. I don't like that idea. Nice to meet you all. Is it? Is it nice? What's the plot twist? Huh? I am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? No, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? Oh. That's a chihuahua? I hope that's not a chihuahua. That's a mess of chihuahua. Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? Oh, so you are a rabbit. It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. Isn't that also the animal from that one meme that, that touched me? Touch me harder. That's that's also what that was too, right? I don't I don't know about that. That's what I'm. That's what I am. A singing, dancing, talking, talking rabbit mascot. Okay. Hold on. Let me process this first. Okie dokie. Oh, I seem a lot friendlier. What do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a oh over a child's toy. I'm gonna probably censor my own words when I'm reading dialogue, only because like YouTube. You know that YouTube can kind of be with that. I won't censor the actual game or voice acting when that happens though. But. You might see me gloss over those kind of words just for that reason. Like I said, in the in the first game, we had some issues uh, behind the scenes I handled, but uh, yeah. Even if it's a remote control, it doesn't look too life. It doesn't look too lifelike. That's pretty advanced for a toy. Or doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Toy Stop Story. Talking. Stop talking. Ah, oh, good to have you back. That's totally Biakia. That's 100% Biakia. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. School trip? School trip, exactly. Come on. What do you mean, school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Now let's depart for the school fun school trip. Depart? Like what, the magic school bus? Oh, is this gonna oh. Oh? Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. W cool. We're on the beach. We're out the school. So, we're not trapped in the school. That's that's a plus. That's a Oh, ooh, wait. Hang on. Ooh, the music of Danganronpa has always been pretty good. I, I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sorry. I'm actually, you know what? I'm not sorry. It's good, it's good music. Also, by the way, before I continue, when the roof opened up, was that just me or like briefly in the light before the, the I guess the classroom collapsed? There was the, the Hope's Peak Academy was like there, the building. I, I, I don't know. We're just, we're just going to continue. Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set and what appeared before me and said was, blue sky, white clouds. Blue sea, white waves. What, what the what heck is, is this? Oh, you got me covered there? Thank you. 
No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Aw oh, man, I'm really gigging. I'm gigging to this. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! Where are we? Why? What's going on? Everyone, please stay calm. I don't know how that's gonna happen. You said magic, and then you did magic. Magic exists. That's what we've confirmed. <laughs> there's no reason to panic. See? Look around. Uh, the seagull. Feast your eye. Oh, there's a seagull. It's Nags. He's flying free from the bully from the chat. There we go. Feast your eyes on this blue, beautiful ocean. It's like your heart was being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where, you ask? Well, obviously we're... <laughs> out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Take it from... Oh, you're gonna get me in trouble. do 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 Out by the sea. I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, you know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. I would this. know. But, uh, we're, we were just at school, and now we're by the sea? This is impossible. No Please do not worry. The school trip has just started, that's all. Hold on a sec. But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She's right. We're supposed to be attending Hope Speak Academy. I see. Ah. Uh, Hope Speak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy. Then, in that case, Alrighty. please forget about Hope Speak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. How do you, how do you just forget about the school you were? You, I, uh, huh? Eh, eh? Yeah. Huh? Neck, you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? What are you scheming? Oh, uh, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. That hope will grow. Okay, so, um, okay. Okay, maybe this ain't, maybe this isn't bad. No problem. There's nothing dangerous about this island whatsoever. So please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? We're on Angel Island. Okay, where's Knuckles? Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. Angel Island did have some... So we're in Sandopolis. Okay, so we're in Sandopolis on Angel Island. It was prepared just for us. An island free from other people in danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us this uninhabited island to make us kill each other. Oh, uh, what? Kill each other? I mean... That's... No way. Wait, no? Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Oh, is it? Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. So scary. What are you thinking? Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Yeah. Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. I, I mean, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. That is the main rule of this heart-throbbing school trip. So not heart, not not a not a killing trip. It's a heart-throbbing school trip. Already better say? circumstances. Heart-throbbing school trip. That's right. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days, nourishing hope and lazing around, free from pain, free from suffering. Okay, I'm liking this a lot better already than the first one. Truly, this lovely, dovely, heart-throbbing school trip is everyone's homework. The homework is just to be on a on a tropical like paradise island and just lounge with everybody and have a good time. What kind of home I couldn't have paid for that kind of homework when I was in high school. What? What the heck does that even mean? Now then Let the heart throbbing school trip begin. Works for me. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that. Like a, like a curtain slowly lowering. My mind grounded to a halt. Oh, and then you like, you fell down. Oh, well, hello.
Oh, it's the names. I'm missing the names here. I was gigging so much. That's not good. Wait a second. I saw that. That didn't scroll by fast enough for me to miss it. Mines aren't that bad yet. Welcome to Dangan Island? Okay. That... T who it That's Biakia. Tell me that's Biakia. I dare you to tell me that's not Biakia. I will throw lint or chair. I don't know. I'm, I, that, I, I bet money. That's how much I'm putting on this. It's, it is. It's him. B yes. Biakia Togami. Okay. What happened? I don't know. This seems like colorful and fun and stuff. We now know that's him. It just said his name. That is 100% him. He's even in the center because that's what he would do. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. And how do you do? Save here. Absolutely. Hey. And now we're back to here. If that's Biakia... Is this a sequel or is this a prequel? I guess we'll find out as I play. But, like, he's different than he was. But he seems to know things, but maybe he doesn't. I, I can't tell yet. Can you hear me? And now we're back to here? Yeah, where Are we- Are you okay? We must have like collapsed after everything that happened, huh? I seem huh? pretty out of it. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm also- No, everyone else feels the same too. Do they now? Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Did we now? Hey, are you listening? I'm listening like I was at the start, buddy. Hey. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. Wow, there's no way I can leave someone alone when you look that pale. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, the sun rays beaming down on me, this soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hostwick Academy. Why did this? Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. The that that's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticule on the screen. If the reticule responds, use the left mouse button. You can then examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the WASDS key. SD keys. Plus, if you press the tab key, you can use the mysterious power to see everything you can examine. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now then, please search this beach thoroughly and progress the story. Ah, so we're finally- ah, oh, ooh, the ocean. The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you should be this concerned, though. Like, it does seem like you're in a better situation. I guess you don't know about the first one, but you seem in a better situation. Hmm, is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. Uh, I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Yeah. I mean, he looks pretty chill. Anyone that can wear a, a, like a hoodie trench coat thing on this beach, which is probably blazing hot, they must be very, they're cold, if anything. That actually, that answers it right there. Cool. Thank you. Chill guy. I'm going to need your help probably during the entirety of this game. What else? Oh, yeah, we can do this, right? Ah, uh, welcome back, detective mode. Palm tree. What mysteries do you have for me? I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a top tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now it's the time for me to be impressed by it. Ah, what is this? Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is it being used for? Hey. So how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I don't understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Nagito. Komaeda. I'm gonna butcher names all episode long. Please prepare your ears and I apologize in advance. 
Nagito Komaeda. I feel like that one's kind of straightforward. Why does your voice sound familiar too? Why are you wearing a hoodie on the beach? Why are you wearing a hoodie at all? Why is Byakuya here? What happened to everybody else? Does that make you Makoto? Ultimate lucky student. Level, level with me right now. Obviously no spoilers. Level with me right now though. Nani? Ah, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope's Peak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh huh. Lucky, huh? What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything, that's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called anyways. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Host Week Academy as the lucky ultimate student. Yes, Makoto, Nayagi, went through that same thing, which you are... N you're not? Or are you... Byakuya's just throwing me off, basically. And that lucky winner just so happens to be me. Chosen by a lottery, is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? It, I mean, I don't know. Maybe? How strange. What happened? Your face looks... troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything at all. No, no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever attend Hope Seek Academy. You definitely speak like Makoto, who definitely... He definitely downplayed himself entirely all first game long. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual annual lottery. Hopesuke Academy is amazing if they actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me is able to attend Hopesuke Academy, so for that, I'm grateful. This is trouble. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Uh, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Isn't that everybody? Dang, that's a bit relatable right now. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introductions. Hmm. Nagito Komaeda. Komaeda. Komaeda? Komaeda. Am I pronouncing that right? Tell me that I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'll try and fix it. He doesn't seem to be the most reliable guy, but he doesn't seem to strike me as a bad person either. Yeah, he seems like just, just a regular chill, chill old guy. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata, Hyuga. Then, let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. It was a kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? It's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm pretty sure you remember once you've settled down, so I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. Then, I guess we're done with our introductions for now. So we're the ultimate question mark. Okay, so we got Byakuya. We got we got Ma we got Makoto. We're the question mark this time. So we're the detect we're the detective. Gotcha. Okay, cool. I am not smart enough to be a detective. I I I should bow out of the situation right now. I'm I'll I'll see y'all in another video. Just kidding. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Me too. Yeah, hope fragment. Hey, did that something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my head into my pockets. That's right, that strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from inside of my pocket. Oh good, it's the e-handbook! It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is something like that inside my pocket? Are you okay? You saw me was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> Alright, you seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kinda remember it, but what is this? It's a e-handbook. Ah. What the? Where did you come from? Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. I know how to apologize. Oh, I know how to apologize. I'm a good girl. Oh, okay. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? 
That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. This device, is that important? I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? Hope fragments? Yeah, okay. Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As you raise your relationships with everyone improves, or as your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Ah, okay. Gather hope fragments so that the flowers of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, it's the love. opposite of the first game. Love, love. Hey, she's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears whenever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's just alive. Maybe it's its own entity. And what was that all about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. Oh, if you only knew, buddy. <laughs> it feels like... it. If this feels like a game, it's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. You're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best for you to at least introduce yourselves to them. That's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps. Oh, they're exploring the island as well. Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live in this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. Master Emerald Shrine, off limits. Uh, for example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What's about What about food and living arrangements? So, why don't we finish introduction, introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. Cool, we have a sidekick. We have Tails. Uh, this is all going good. So, now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Uh, shall we get going then? Yep, we shall. But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in a strange situation. Stuck in a new location without any explanation. It's all coming together. Yeah. It's all coming together. It's big brain time. <laughs> Sorry. Perhaps it's the tropical climate. Or is that... What's her name? Usami's fault. What happened? What is this, Hajime? Let's get going. Right. Got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? You're now able to learn the handbook. Or you're now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the e-handbook with the F1 key. It's super easy! And it includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which documents everyone's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more! You can also view the transcript with the F2 key. That's all there is to the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone else and fetch Mulan. Alright, you can exit the beach with the R key. R. Because we're near the sea. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm terribly sorry. Alright, leave here. Let's go. Hey. Uh, about exploring the island. It appears a map of the island has been installed in this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually, To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. Makoto. Uh, I've learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful information. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Uh, you don't know? This school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then, was I also... I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. Uh, well, it's not your fault if I can't really remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted in the Hostic Academy. Anyway, I'll help you out too, so why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. So first, I introduce myself to everyone else on this island. Then, or first I should, oh, I should apologize. There's something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you'll be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to a location displayed as Go. Also, when you travel to a point with a exclamation point mark, with a mark, mark, mark with exclamation point, uh, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. Sorry, my nose just started itching, like the tip of the outside of my nose starts itching while I speak a lot. Travel on the screen can be done through the screen. You can move with the WASD keys. You can run by holding the shift keys while you move. If you press the Q and E keys, you can also instantly move to the next area. 
When the reticule respawns, you can go inside places by pressing the left mouse button. You probably realized it by now, but you happen to be on your very oh you happen to own your very own pet in your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to place instead of using the map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Oh. We got the chow garden. We got everything we need. This is great so far. This is Ah. Run. Run, my boy. You have metabolism still that I don't have. Alright, we've been to the beach, so we'll ignore that for now. Central Island. Alrighty. And where are you supposed to be? The ranch. Ranch dressing. And what are you supposed to be? The hotel. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. Rocket Punch Market. Oh, so Android 16 is there. Gotcha. Android 16 was dope. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, uh, that was this? The pet. Ah, hope meter, despair meter. Uh, until next growth, total steps taken. Oh, that's that's actually pretty useful. So what happened though? Okay. Can we give it presents? Interesting. Uh, that's actually interesting. Airport. All right. Airport. Rocket Punch Market. Uh, Central Island. The uh, Holiday Inn. Because I made a song about that. The beach again. Oh, so we just uh, did we just loop? Central Island. Okay, well, if that's going to be the case. I want to take a lot of steps. Let's sprint like our life depends on it. Also, take like, it said like a thousand steps until we level up again. So if I make another loop back the other way, maybe that'll be a thousand steps, perhaps? That's interesting. So we have an airport, and we have a rocket punch market. We have the hotel. Oh, the ranch. Ranch, ranch dressing. That's what it was. Ranch dressing. The ranch. The big old big ranch of ranch big boy ranchness with cows. And then back to the central. So we probably go to the central island last. I probably go there last, actually. So this is where we started. There's the beach. Now we're going to start going to the different places. Uh, and by the time we go through all these places, maybe we'll level up again. Awesome. Uh, so let's go to the airport. Airport first. Let's, let's, let's do it. There's a lot of planes there, too. Maybe that's how we got here. We flew here. We just didn't think about it. We didn't know we did, but we actually flew here. This is the airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes? Absolutely. Couldn't we use those airplanes to escape this island? Uh. Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show. Yeah. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever bought us here on this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, you saw me. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me, you and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. Kazu I'm the ultimate mechanic. Kazuichi nice meet ya. Kazuichi Pop. Gotcha. No, I'm just kidding. Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet you. All right then, buddy, ultimate mechanic, mechanical engineer. There we go. You're the ultimate mechanic, so you're probably beyond me, but awesome. Up here, perhaps. Uh, as expected as someone called the ultimate mechanic, uh, Kazuichi is a servant when it comes to fixing, or not a servant, a savant, savant, when really good when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. T T T T T T T. Uh, sorry. You think so too, huh? Doesn't it seem pretty strange to you? Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean. Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? I didn't read those. Oh, wow. Rule 1. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live a peaceful and relaxing life with your fellow students. Rule 2. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist in this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. The exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Ah. For now. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't it, uh, this be like any other school trip? 
There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spending these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope, just as Usami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what they told us? She forced us to come here, you know? What? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy a vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> well, if you start close to the strange looking bunny girl, you might start looking or she might start looking pretty cute. What? I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. Hope fragment. Alright. And who are you? Fiend. Oh, stop right there if you value your life. Do not come any closer. Huh? I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. Hi. I, however, welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal you to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well. For it is the name that will one day rule this world. Ah, like Mobile Suit Gundam, huh? Gundam Tanaka. I got you covered, buddy. Ultimate Breeder. Is this guy's voice like my movie narration? Does he have a Patara earring from Dragon Ball Z? Oh, heck. Rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it's my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? What am I supposed to say? Jesus? Yeah. Which tribe do you make your pact with? Answer me. What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium. Hot. Dang. I like this guy. I like this guy. Answer me now. Though as I cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps. I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. I mean, I have one on the e-handbook. Pet? No, the only one I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. So, a mere insect. Huh. Your, your magic space. essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. Oh, that's a, drag that's a Dragon Ball Z reference. Oh, I love this guy already. Trash? Really? Yeah. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should dare not speak to one as grand as me. Who do you think I am? I'm the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Ah, this guy is great. Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you'd see in Nature Show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. Oh, okay, Hulk. Fuha. -ha. Fu -ha. Oh, well, he did it for me. Oh, this guy is great. Oh yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal and even manage to succeed in proliferating the endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. Oh, I like that guy. Leave here? Yeah, let's keep it moving, though. I like I like these guys. You got the fellow mechanical engineer, and you got and you got Dragon Ball Z. I like it. This game's good. This game's good. I'm hungry, though. Perfect time to go to the market. Rocket Punch Market. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z, Android 16. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. We're, we're not on a tropical island. Or we're, if we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we don't need to worry about food or necessities for a while. Oh, so it's like the kitchen, but better. Cola. Lots and lots of cola. For a while. Wow. It's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if it's all processed or stuff is poisoned? What? You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around. We're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't you saw me say this island is uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? What happened? It, it's nothing. It... 
She's staring at me funny. Um. What are you looking at? Uh, you know... I'm sorry. What? You didn't do anything! Well, maybe you were staring, but... Why is she crying? How'd you make Bullying a gor- Bullying a goral? Bullying a goral? Bullying a girl? Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything! <laughs> so your name is Hajime. Is it okay with you? May I please remember your name? I don't see why that would be a problem. Go for it. Uh, of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... My, my name is Mikan Sumiki. From the, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Mikan Sumiki. You know how our name is Hajime Hinata? They sound like Hinata, though. So it's a, okay. So Dragon Ball Z and Naruto collided on this island. That's what I'm getting so far. Yeah, that's great. That's fine by me. Mikan Sumiki. Oh, hello, nurse. Well. You know, <laughs> um, 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 um. My mind is drawing a blank from nervousness. And I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after your introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. <laughs> Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I just ask, I'll just i just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Isn't Mikan the ultimate nurse? If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. Oh, they're happy now. I'm so sorry for laughing so suddenly. That's not that's not an issue. Oh no. It's just I can't help it. I'm just so happy and I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Well, we'll be your friend. How about that? I thought you actually want to be friends with me. No, we'll be friends. It's okay. we can be friends. It's fine. I'm so sorry. I just said something so presumptuous. Presumptuous. It no. It it we're we're friends now. We are now friends. All three of us. I'm pulling him in. I'm pulling Makoto in. We're the detective. You're the nurse. This is a, this is a, this is this is a adventure in the making. All right. We're a trio now. We have tales. Cause Sonic, Sonic, Dragon Ball Z, and Naruto all colliding into one battle royale. I'll do anything you say, just please don't hate me. Don't actually submit that hard. I do not hate you. Man. Bullying a girl, not cool, Hajime. Come on, man. Dang. Seriously, why does this keep happening? I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Hope fragment obtained. Oh, no. Vending machine? You mean mono machine? I'm gonna have to act, I'm supposed to act like I just don't see this. It looks like a vending machine, but... Didn't seem to accept my money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Yeah, that's a mono machine. And who are you? Ding, ding. Oh no, I remember this character. Remember in the first game I talked about I had a friend that that's who got me into the Danganronpa series? This was like literally one of, if not like their favorite character. That's who this is. I, I recognize now, because they used to use this as a profile picture. I remember now. I don't remember. The, I don't remember anything else, but like profile picture. I remember that face, basically. Hello. Oh hi. Who are you? I'm Hajime Hinata Huga. Hello. Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh. Oh, that's right. Introductions are a go go. Oh, they're very interjected. Buki, Mio, Da. Put it together, and what do you get? Ibuki, Thank you. Miyoda. I now have drinkage. Perfect. The ultimate musician. Ah, oh, okay. I play some saxophone myself. No, I'm just well, I do, but. Yes. All right. Introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They got hamburgers, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta. Oh, melons. No problem. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Yubari would shop here. Yeah. Man, I'm getting hecka stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness. All right, Baskin Robbins, hold on a second. And when I'm excited, I get hungry mungry. Oh, that's gonna be fun reading for this character. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? The body, human body, sure is a mystery. 
Uh, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, their hit single, After School uh, for yo Yan Hour, sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Uh, are you interested? Yeah! What? You can hear me? <laughs> Duh, Ibuki's a, mu Ibuki's a musician after all. Guitar! Like Sherbert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and uh, Senna. I, too, am an awesome musician. Senna, like from League of Legends? Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Oh. Hope fragment. There we go. Do 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 do. Keep it moving. Keep on keeping on. Ah. I kinda wanna go to the ranch. Hang on, let me go to the ranch. I know there's the holiday holiday inn. But uh what's up with these cows? I was looking for an entrance in the gate of the fence, and then I was like, oh, I just click it. Usami Coral? Her last name is Coral. Uh, this looks like a ranch. Though, there aren't many animals around. Ah, uh, oh, you found it. And again, seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy-dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy she's holding? Um, still, I'm quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows. It's like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty. Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Oh no, that's a chicken. Uh. All right. Boo! Turn into a moo cow. Majin Boo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, you're just a cow now. Alrighty. A huge success. What was all that just now? What was that? A chicken? Change into a cow? That's not it. Uh, that's probably some sort of trigger illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess she had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Ah, oh, there is someone here, it looks like. Oh, there's two people here, it looks like. Who are you? Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? It's finally nice to meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Gotcha. And who's the other dude? What? Haven't we met already? <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. I'm pretty much stuck at remembering names. Or I suck at remembering names. I've and I've met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nagito Komaeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo. Yo. Name's the name. Akane Owari. Nice to meet you. Akane Owari. Ultimate gymnast. Ultimate gymnast. Ultimate gymnast. Well, Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basic and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in the groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for, for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympian athlete. Hope fragment. What? Huh? Uh, don't tell me you... Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Ulti I said ultimate gymnast because it wasn't... Hina was like the ultimate swimming pro, right? Okay, you're Makoto, you're Asahina, we're Detective, Byakuya somewhere, haven't found them yet, but that that that's totally Byakuya. Who are you? Squish, squish. squish that cat. What's this kid doing? 
She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her fingers onto the floor with all her strength. Are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Hmm? I'm Hiyoko Sayanji. Hiyoko Sayanji. Traditional dancer. Ultimate traditional dancer. Gotcha. Squish, squish. Squish that cat. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger to the floor. Seriously, what is she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually. Yoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. She's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably have all the same niche or something. Hey, what exactly are you doing? I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ant. Oh, heck. Come again? <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, Want to do it together? Heck no. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you wuss. This kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Heck. Oh, well, we're out of here. We're out of here. You can, you can just squish the ants until there's no ants to squish. Bugs Life is afraid of you. Alright, back to the hotel. Where's the goodest boy, Byakia? Oh, wow. Wow, now this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps The Hotel Miria. Mira. Miria? Why did it say Miria? Mirai, my bad. It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. Hotel future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pinch a tent or something. If we can live in grand hotel like this, I don't think we have to worry about being comfortable. Comfortable isn't an option here. Uh, we don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make for a good base. Why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? Because why not? If you're strapped here anyways, at least it looks like the conditions are a lot better than the first game. It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? Or he's been through one of these before because he's Makoto and he, he knows that everything's going to be okay or eventually okay. okay. A map will be displayed if you press the tab key. I said the tab key. Don't make me repeat myself. Oh, now we can control? Alright. Ah, now we have control. No one's back here, it looks like. Ah, uh, you're there. Uh, who else is here? Let's see. Ah, uh, and y'all are here too. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Also, we are thingy leveled up, right? Uh, what does that mean? Nothing? Despair meter? Ah, we gotta clean that, huh? Alright, what is... Oh, we don't have... Well, we don't have any monocoins, so I, I, I imagine we can't uh, uh, use the vending machine. Okay. Who are you, big man? That's right, you haven't told me your name. Oh, My name? I'm the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai! Nekomaru Nidai, alright. Ultimate team manager. Um, hello? I'm Hajime Hinata, Hyuga. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let me let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Alright. Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. No, I'm just kidding. My name is he uh, My name is Hajime Hinata. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Don't you forget it, even if you go to heck. Alright. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekumaru Nidai. I'm gonna remember you. You need to repeat your name so much, I won't forget it. He has lightning coming from his eyes. I agree. I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekumaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not... So he's not on a team, he just manages one. Nope. 
He's not just a team manager, after all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to a national victory as well. Rumor has it, has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American leagues. If that's all true, he's totally deserved to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> With a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Hope Fragments. Let's... Oh, wait. Whoops. Sorry. I hope we get along from now on. He's so loud. If I keep talking to him, I'll eventually go deaf. Alrighty. Ah, who are you? Oh, nice suit, though. Who the heck are you? Don't talk all friendly and stuff to me. Oh, okay. This guy is already in a crappy mood. What are you looking at? You got something you want to say? Relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves? Okay. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Hmm. Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Gotcha. Ultimate Yakuza. Yakuza. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Even though he's got a baby face, He's also incredibly rude. Uh, Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kuzuryu clan. Not the Kuzuryu clan. Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm pretty sure you've at least heard of him before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation with the membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to the Yakuza clan. And it's the Kuzu Kuzuryu clan, no ye less. Actually. By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is an expression expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Uh, Nagato, you're like my savior or something. No, you're exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Hey, bastard. If you're all done here, how about you make like a tree and leaf, you mean? Leaf village? Alright, cool. We out. We out. No worry. Ah, and who might you be? taller than us. We literally come to your tie. Hi. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. You, are a boy, right? you gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You want me to introduce myself? Nah, I haven't done it before, right? It sounds like I'm Lux. Be counting on you from now on. That is Lux. That is Lux's voice from League of Legends. Okay. Mahiru? Mahiru. Koizumi? Ultimate photographer. Okay. Actually, Mahiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as, the, as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's... Uh, a young photographer who's a, won a number of awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there's a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or just like insane. I'm here to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? That's what that stuffed animal you saw me was saying. After you finish collecting the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over and we can all leave this island together. That's all we have to do is to get home? Is that true? Did you really mean that? Jeez. Hey, you should have been paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Kay. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason you should be acting panicky. Even so, what's the reason? Why do we have to go through something like this? I mean, to go through all that effort to bring us here so we can all live together and get along? It doesn't make any sense. What? I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. After all, I'm glad. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Not big deal, really. We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this, and then we're told to forget about Hope's Academy. He sure... He... Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey. Are you sure it is? Hey. Eh? You. Don't at me. What about your introductions? I've been waiting for like ever, you know. Ah, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata Hyuga. Uh, it's nice to meet you, too. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. You better 
better do your best. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. Got it. I'm taking talking to the both of you. You better man up and to and do better. Got it? Dang. Well, the funny thing is, funny enough, when it comes to YouTube, actually, the whole reason I am able to do YouTube, all the skills I've learned with like graphic design for thumbnails and on and the animation stuff that I do, I learn because I took a photography class in my senior year, and the teacher was a uh, photography teacher and the video uh, production teacher were the same person. And I learned a lot of stuff, and also got Photoshop from that class. So you can say everything that's happened till then started because of that class in high school in my senior year. So that's kind of interesting. The ultimate photographer. I won't forget them. I won't forget that they're super tall. And they're now a shadow. They are super tall. Wow. Okay. Can we go in here? Can we go in here? Should we go in here? Should we go to the central island at some point too? Ah, more people. I'm glad. Hey, even the inside of this place looks grand too. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. Like, Hajime, you are worrying a bit too much. How many times you gotta get told it's uninhabited? For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? I mean, it is a mystery. Don't get me wrong, but. State your business. Oh, introductions. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? Uh, introduction. Understood. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Peko Yama. It is nice to meet you too. Peko Peko Yama. Got it. The ultimate swordswoman. Ah, that must be what's on your back. Actually, this dignified-looking woman is known as the ultimate swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Peko Yama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If that, if what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. Is it necessary for men and women to live together to respect each other? Don't try anything inappropriate. I had no plans on doing so if it feels any better. <laughs> I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a misaimed blow can be fatal. Well, an, an aimed blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. Nice swordswoman, huh? There's some girl playing an arcade game and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. Hajime, you probably haven't probably introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh-oh. Hey! Chiaki? <gasps> Sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. A little? Are you sure about that? Um, Let's see. Alright, introductions, got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. All right, and all game genres, huh? Nice to meet you. We're a variety game channel. There we go. Nice to meet you too. Ultimate gamer. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Yep. Yeah, totally. It seems like this conversation is going rather slow. <laughs> well, she is gaming right now. Well, it's more like. I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, then I can talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game and hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? Sleepy. Oh, no. Ooh, stairs. We can talk to the stairs? They're always leading up to something. Oh, a restaurant. Oh, and there are people up here. So, is this the hotel restaurant? Amazing! It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It's the kind that uh, it kind of has the tropical open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on an island? Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. That's right, I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. 
Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Poison? I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Whoa. Denied. Denied. Good day. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata Hyuga. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. Yeah, why, hello there. General Kenobi! You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. Teru Teru Hanamura. Kenobi. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? Ultimate chef, gotcha. I hope we get along well. I am sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I've not properly introduced myself either. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. Sonia Nevermind. I will. Re that's a pretty straightforward name to remember. I should not butcher that ever. The ultimate princess. Oh. <laughs> I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novus. Novoselic. Novoselic? Novoselic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along. Same here, I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mystery charm that I want to gaze at forever. That's not <laughs> nice to stare. Are you enchanted? That is probably... Oh, you, well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the Ultimate Princess, which means she's actually royalty. Oh, well, heck. Uh, the Ultimate Princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty, she's also just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, Probably because she doesn't seem like a stuck-up, like, egotistical, holier-than-thou royalty, which is already a plus in my book. Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. What? What are you happy about? I... In my home country, I did not have a single friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. Oh, that sucks. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? Th thanks. The thanks. I feel the huge. T I feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Hey, you three. Am I being left out of the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Taro Taro. Did so like you to check out the restaurant first as the ultimate chef? Do you like it? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. Since this and since this is I blah 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 blah, blah, blah words. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully, yeah, I like it. Well. Though I like the it. big city flavor of my hometown. Or though I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is so, so splendid. <laughs> hey, are you Understand. refined, cultured, guilty as charged? No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm real happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick, I have a secret suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? I refuse to have any thoughts at all. Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... Do you feel like Miss Sonya over there has a good chance of putting out... Putting out what? Dishes? See, everybody, everyone knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Come on. Um. My dude, pardon me. What are you talking about? Your protection and safety. <laughs> From this. We'll discuss this later. I better not see you try that again. Yeah, get him, Makoto. Tell him, Niagi. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like this, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. When it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. This guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Alright, let's roll out. Yeah, time to go to the central island. We've met like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We've met thirteen people. We're the fourteenth person because there's sixteen people, so there's two people that are missing. Right? And they must be on the central island then. 
Central Island. Central, because there's two people at the ranch, uh, two people at the market, and two people at the airport. So we, we must have to go here. Hajime. Hajime, it looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? Well, that's what we're going to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will we do? Die. I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That looks important. And it looks gated. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge, but it seems we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Oh, well. Let's, let's level five. All right, level five already. Wait, hold on. Jabberwock Park. Oh, look, the Jabberwockies. America's best dance crew. Jabberwockies. Let's go. All right, I'm guessing we can't go there either. Uh, we need, we need coins. We need coinage. Oh, there's a lighthouse. All right. And this must be uh, island number five. Okay, this is where we came from. So I'm guessing the only place we can... We must be able to go. Let's go see the Jabberwockies. Yo, let's go totally hang with the Jabberwockies. I want to hang with the Jabberwockies. We can learn how to head spin and everything. Beat Kundo. That's where we came from, so we're not going back there. Oh, a little meter is going up. We're almost level six. Ha, ha, ha. Where's the park at? Where's that park at? Where did we come from? Where did we go? Where's the park at? Jabberwock Joe. Awesome. The last of you two must be here. Oh, I guess Nagato is one of those two people. Never mind. So this is a park. This is A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> it feels so nice. Such a laid-back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may have already noticed, but you can level you may have a level assigned to you. It's displayed in the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. A bronze statue of various animals, plus it's pretty huge. Amazing! Wow, what a grand statue. Yeah, it's a grand statue, but isn't it kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. Sure is grand. This island symbol, huh? All right, I know, I know who you are. What do you want? What do you want? To leave immediately. Oh, back with the dozens, are we? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body's overwhelming. Hey. Hey, Biakia. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, have time for a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction? <laughs> Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. My name is Hajime Hinata Hyuga. My name is Byakuya Togami. There's the there's the boy. The ultimate affluent progeny. Yep, there he is. He's definitely different. Though, I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. I can tell. This guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually, That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. Yep. Except it's been totally wiped out. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. How it's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a magno, uh, mag, mag, a manga origin story. Hm. You there, Hajime, was it? Eh? Tell me, why did Hopesick Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? We're the ultimate detective. The thing is, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently, he lost his memory due to shock. He can't even remember that much. How foolish. Um. Yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Yes, sir. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Skinny types? Yeah, sure thing. His build and overwhelming aura are of refinement just pushes people away. Look at that expression! Look at those chompers! 
Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? Alright. Was that a school bell just now? Uh -huh. Hajime, look at the monitor over there. Uh oh. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I guess so. I'm. I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. Have you? I apologize for the trouble. But please gather at the beach. No. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. No. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. Thinking won't solve anything. What we can do after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried, but it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. No, it wouldn't. If you're really that worried, then just don't go. It's, it's that simple, my dude. It really is. Level up. Not yet. Actually, let's just check. There you go. That's gross, but there you go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Back to the island. First island. And we're gonna go to the rocket punch. Can I actually use the machine? And I just couldn't because of introductions, but now I can. I would love to like just take a swing at it. I don't have any anything yet, of course, but there we go, level up. Bum 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 Uh What? Yeah, yo, it's what you're hearing. Give me the machine. Give me the machine. Looks like a vending machine, but it doesn't accept my money. You do I have to use some type of coin? You do. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched at the same time. It's not really a good feeling. Coca-Cola. That's one big cola bottle. I better go flat before we can even finish drinking it. Huh, okay. Can we not? Okay. I guess not. Okay. We can't use it. Might as well go to the beach then. Okay. How close are we? How many sips do we have to take, by the way? Uh, Go away. Uh, until next growth, 209 steps. Okay, we can do that. Right? We can do that just by doing some laps. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 283, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 97, 98, 99, 200, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. There we go. Let's go. God. Why are they a cocoon? What's it gonna be? Are they gonna hatch? Until next growth, 87. Oh, we can do 87. Back from the beginning, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. We take the steps all day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. No, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 
51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 8, 69, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, well, alrighty then. What does this mean, though? I cannot interact with you. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, how many steps until the next level? That way I can just... No. 2,000. Oh, that, that's gonna be a while. Maybe I'll just do laps in between episodes. Alright. Let's beach it up. Let's go beach it up. We've got to beach it up. Uh, don't you know beach it up? Ah, uh, Biakia. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly-dallying for? My business. Sorry to keep you all waiting. I ain't. Well, it's alright. Wait, it's alright. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's talk. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you mentioned I happen to notice numerous block-off bridges to the central island. Oh! Oh, those are those... Those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and the rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost. This island really so big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. Um, so there's a large supermarket, too. It looks like it had stocked everything from food to living and, um, and amenities. Mm. The hotel is really nice, too. It'd be great if we can all stay there. <laughs> The restaurant inside the hotel was absolutely, or was also very nice. It seems to cater to a more uh, plebeian's taste. Oh no! Hey. Can you guys listen to what I was gonna say too? I found something very important on this island. Girls, very cute girls. Ah, all over the place. Yeah, he's not wrong. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps. You probably should. That guy seems kind of creepy. Uh, all of you are fools. I can't believe nobody's mentioned the most serious truth. The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. What did you say? Don't be talking all big. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. Oh, oh it's going to be one of those. Biaki is going to come across another elitist kind of character and just going to butt heads. A most serious truth. What does he mean? No, no, ask him. What's the most serious truth? Did you find something about this island? Hm. Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue and the creepy animals, right? When I saw it, I remembered a story I heard before. Dang, this, there's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of central islands surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that the five holy animals symbolize each of one of the surrounding islands. Eh? Listen. That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be Jabberwock Island? If that's the name of this island, Very strange. still, there's something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... Never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there. There's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh. I don't care about what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papau Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we've all got to live here, right? <laughs> Living again on the tropical island sure is exciting. I'm super looking forward to it. Right on. This ain't bad. This ain't a bad school at all. Hey, hey you guys. I like it. I like this island too. <laughs> can't say the same about the rest of you cretins. Did I just hear something? I'm still worried. I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger and convenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hopesick Academy, right? We're all living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Eh? Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> There's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. What I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it'd be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's impossible. There's no way we can swim that far. Show some spirit. Yeah. What? Are you I'm stupid? telling you, that's impossible. Then then, what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you. Nuh-uh, you can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Please recall the guidelines from the school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let's coexist on this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. 
Gothic, I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this island. Beautiful tropical paradise island. Uh, what's with all these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what are your actions? Uh, what if your actions place everyone else in danger? The word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now, as long as we don't find anything weird, it seems there's no danger. And as long as we gather the fragment, hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island. You're all just gonna believe that? There's no, t uh, there's no other choice but to believe it. For now, that's it. Hey, hey! Anyway, Osami, what's the present you mentioned uh, in the announcement earlier? Whoa! That's right. Of course, I didn't forget. It's a motive, isn't it, Mono Panda? Love. love, love. This is it. Don't be a set. I prepared one for you all, so don't worry. What is this? It's an Usami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami! Magical miracle girl, Usami! I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk! Uh huh. Isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Aww. Man, I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed. They even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit. Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyways. As I figured, after everyone received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey, you can't taint nature with trash. See, even you think they're trash. Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Aww. Oh, that's kind of sad. I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. You have something else? Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. I swear. A motive? Hey. That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. Oh. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed. <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correct. Is it a festival or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Excuse me, Miss uh, Sonia. My loins are so full of poison. I appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Wait! Knock it off, Teru Teru. Get him! Get him, Nyagi. Right. Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha! Thank you, thank you. That's... Just, just ignore him, Sonia. I got it. If we're talking about fun parties at a tropical island, maybe I should. It should be a barbecue or something. Uh... A campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill. Let's find a hoop snake and kill it. You see. Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first. Ta da! This is what it's all about. A swimming bag? Love. Correct, love, love. Whoa! And that means. That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming? In a situation like this? It's not a situ. It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going to swim. There's no way anyone would be thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. I think you underestimate how panicked you are and how calm everyone else is, Hajime. That's right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This weather's still nice. There's no way I'm going to pass up on swimming. I agree. Even my loins agree. See? Your tender loins? I understand. Thank you. Oh, this is a good character. Wait. Seriously, don't try to understand. How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? All right, let's go change. Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get the swimsuits from Musami and ran straight to the hotel to change. What are you gonna do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you'll feel up to it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After you said that, Nagito ran to the Nagito ran to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? Hmm. You're not gonna swim, Biakia? Not possible. Of course not. That's enough. However, I don't think that makes us friends. Don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons can be more different. Different reasons? <laughs> you cannot decide our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? Coward? What? That Usami thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you going to swim? I simply do not like ocean water. It's too salty. That's not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. 
So it looks like she's saying too. That's unexpected. She seems like more of the attractive type. Hey, you're not gonna swim? Huh? No, of course I am. Why? Then why don't you go with the others to change? So I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. So what about your swimsuit? There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. So let's hurry and swim. With those words, it can't quickly be taken off her. Whoa, hey! I won't forgive you. Hey there, shameful behavior like that is a no-no. If you're gonna swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit. So annoying. What a pain. Phew. Phew. That would have been bad. You're not gonna swim? <laughs> no, it's more fun to sip on crabs walking on the beach. I see. I s well. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, everyone has returned. As Yusasami said that, I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting joyfully. Oh. Oh, we the, we're the beach episode already. How about that? Oh, I like how Gundam left his scarf on still. Well, hang on a second. Everybody's all having fun and stuff. Dang, Nekamaru. I, after this video, need to go work out again. Apparently. Hello, nurse. Teru, 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 Teru has Monokuma's belly button. I'm suspicious of them now. I like how everyone's like moderate, moderately toned to insanely ripped. Thanks. Suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? Oh, come on, Teru Teru. Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Thank you, Nekamaru. Okay. Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. Well, all right then, there you go, Teru Teru. There, no, all right. You seem a little too open, like you're covering too many bases by yourself. Hey, let the man do his thing. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Feels like a resort. There's no way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I... <laughs> yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got... I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Let's keep up the pace and let's do all our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's alright. I'll do it. Huh? Uh, Jermaine, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one wearing. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna get seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Hey, don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Alright. Uh-oh. Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Huh? Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. Hey. What is... Oh, you don't know? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way. Something like this shouldn't be happening. And, that's, and at that exact moment, just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. Oh, is it time? Oh, no. Is it time for the boy? Uh, uh, my check! There's that voice. Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different from Usami's. If it ended... If its endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back... Yes, it's... As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging from behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> I can't say I am. I played the end of the last game, so it was only a matter of time, you despicable being. Right? Left. Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. 
What if I don't want to? Could it be? This voice. Oh, you know who they are? Because it's your brother? If, if this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. Yeah, you go, go handle your boy. I won't let you. It's all up to me. Oh, you're gonna go fight him? Oh, so you're not really in allegiance then, probably. If, it, it looks like you... Okay. Hey, wait. Very strange. It seems that was an unnatural or unusual occurrence. Mm. It's best if we go to Jabwalk Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey. Wait. What about everyone else who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over. Look, thunder sounding. I'll head over first. The heck is going on? I'll be really pissed if this is something stupid. With this, what is this? What the heck is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Well, that's where we're gonna end this episode. What is going on? It looks like the boy is back in town, and that's not good. But also, a lot of good things look like they were happening. Well, a lot of the survivors from the other game are apparently disguised as other people. I, we don't know where Kyoko is, for example, then probably as usual. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to see. This game is going good so far. I'm enjoying it so far. I knew I was gonna love playing this game. And the atmosphere definitely feels different. There's a lot of different things and, and, and mechanics and stuff too. That's gonna be really, really fun to, to kind of handle and uh, go about. Uh, even the walking mechanic and leveling up and like our pet and stuff, right? Oh no, I don't want to immediately go to Jabberwock Park. Oh, we arrived in Jabberwock Park. Usami's shouting as we can be heard. Ring Wait, can I... Yeah, okay, I can. So I'll, I'll do that at some point. We'll check on our pet real quick. The spare meter is still pretty high, actually. Uh, we arrived at Jabberwock Park. Usami's voice shouting could be heard ringing throughout the park. Uh, but we're going to have to see what all this foolishness is about in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know what to do will be next, because we're just going to have to wait and see. So until next time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching.